Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Handle It, your online instructional cooking show. I am your guidance counselor in the kitchen today, Chef Atari. But today we're going to be ah. with the chicken wing. And I know what you're saying. You've had every single goddamn chicken wing and you had the t-shirt to go along with it. But let me ask you this. Have you ever had a cinnamon toast crunch chicken wing? Bam! Go back of the line. Go to the back of the line because right now we're in the front of the line. Putting this chicken wing leaps and evolutionary steps forward. Throwing them on the grill, tossing them in some high heat Jack Daniels barbecue sauce and it's gonna be finger looking good. First things first, we're gonna start ah. with the Jack Daniels. We gotta reduce it, get that alcohol out of there so that way it can taste good and be delicious. So, we got our Jack Daniels you wanna add to a small saucepan with one diced onion and a tablespoon of minced garlic. And right here, what we're gonna do is cook down the alcohol content because some people just can't handle their Jack. So right now, we're gonna cook the onions, Jack Daniels, and minced garlic until the onions are translucent. Should be about seven minutes. Let the Jack Daniels chill. This gives us some time to create the other ingredients needed for the barbecue sauce. So we're gonna need some ketchup. Always a great base for barbecue sauce. Don't be using that plain Jane vinegar. Barbecue sauce requires the apple cider. Some tomato paste. This will be our thickening agent. Brown sugar and some salt and pepper. And this guy, the sauce that's really hard to pronounce. Worcestershire. 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 Grab yourself a whisk and mix it all together. And right here in this bowl, you have the fundamentals of making a homemade, delicious barbecue sauce. Mm. Those wings will never see it coming. So it's been about seven minutes, and it's time to add the rest of our barbecue sauce ingredients to the mix. Once you've got all that delicious flavor in there, stir it all around, bring it to a boil, then reduce heat and let simmer for about 20 minutes. So in this episode, we got both rites of passage into the manly hood. When growing up, you started with some cinnamon toast crunch. When you get older, you start hitting the jack. All the things a boy needs growing up. Let's add your cinnamon toast crunch, and you want to blend this until it is a fine powder, a dust. So right here we got ourselves some chicken wings. We'll add some of that cinnamon toast crunch powder. Give your wings a generous toss toss. Make sure that they're completely covered. And you'll notice that the moisture of the wings allows the cinnamon toast crunch to stick to it. Once you've preheated your grill, you'll want to place the wings where there is the least amount of heat. Now while you're cooking these wings, you'll want to pay close attention to them, constantly moving them from heat to where there's low heat, so that way you can avoid burning, and of course, flipping them, cooking them evenly. So once they've cooked for about five minutes, it's time for a flip. And as you can see, cooking it on a lower heat avoids the sugar from burning, but perfectly flavoring our wings. The wings are cooked, the sauce is simmered, and there's just one final step to do to the sauce is once it's reduced and simmered and thickened up, we're gonna put it in a food processor and just pulse it lightly to get rid of any leftover chunks of the onion or however. That means the sauce is ready. Put the wings in a bowl, slowly add a bit of sauce at a time. Depending on how saucy you want it, you got as much sauce as you'd like. Toss these bad boys around, make sure that they're all coated. Now I don't care who you are or where you're from, there is no way you've ever had a cinnamon Toast Crunch Jack Daniels Barbecue Chicken Wing. I will straight up call you a liar because it was invented right here, right now, on Handle It. Constantly bring you the sickest, dopest, amazing recipes in the cooking game that you can make in your kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Handle It. We hope you like, share, favorite, and subscribe and create these delicious, awesome meals for you to enjoy. Thank you.